Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and in today's video, we're doing the accessory tier list. Also, I have a new tier called Best, because, uh, there's one accessory in the game that is so much better than all the other ones that it literally can't be put in the same tier as a bunch of the other best ones, other good ones at least. But I haven't done an accessory tier list in a while. I'm about to go on a huge streak of tier lists, like pet tier list, assist tier list. I, di I didn't make an assist tier list already because they're kind of hard to make. Anyways, let's go ahead and start. The Inferno Blade. If I remember correctly, it does 10% crit chance, which I do remember correctly. 10% crit chance, if you have Divine Pet, really just does not matter at all. But most people don't, so I'm going to put it in B tier. Deck Accessory, I think it's 12% attack. I'm going to go in Anime Dimensions real quick and check. Alright, yeah, it's 12% attack, so I'm going to put that in A tier. These wings are 17% crit damage, which, if you had Divine Pet, or even if you don't, is really good, so I'm going to put it also in A tier, above crit chance. Because a lot of people now do have Divine Pet. This doesn't matter, actually. I'm going way too in-depth on an accessory that is so old. Ichigo's Blade, it does, uh, I think, boss healing, not mob healing. No, it does do mob healing, which is worse than boss healing, so I'm going to put it in C tier. A tree, it gives 10% crit chance, so it's going to be in B tier. The energy wings are 10% cooldown, which is really good, so I'm going to put them in S tier. It's good for dimensions and time challenge. So the Shanks Cape does 17% crit damage. Which is good. Same thing with the Drotar accessory. 17% crit damage. Dragon Ball accessory, 10% cooldown. I really don't like how all the accessories in this game pretty much all do the same thing. They need to spice it up, add some variety. I don't know, maybe make accessories have combos. Like, uh, some of them give like 10% crit damage, 5% crit chance. I don't know, 8% attack, 6% crit damage. That would be cool. Some would be better than others, instead of uh, pretty much every accessory just being the same. Also, the attack accessories are going to go above these. The Demon Wing does boss healing, which, if you don't have 100,000 stat points, is pretty decent. But I'm still going to put it in B tier. The Chainsaw accessory does the exact same thing as the Demon Arm. Uh, not the Demon Arm, the Demon Wing. But it does it slightly better, so I'm just going to put it above. The Cream Puff accessory, I have no idea what, what they were thinking when they made this. Extra 15% XP. They should buff XP accessories. Like, they should give, like... 50% XP, okay, that's a lot. They should give, like, 30% XP. Then, we, you know, we'd be talking about, like, okay, you might want to grind some levels. Let's get this accessory on. But until they do that, B tier. Actually, D tier. This sucks. Cosmic bandages, they also give cool introduction, so, well, 10% cool introduction. The Chainsaw Dog does give attack, like the Deku Mask, but it only gives 10%. So I'm going to put it under the crit damage accessories. Oopsie. The Blood Moon Katana gives 14% crit chance, which... I don't remember it giving 14%. Man, if only they made that a crit damage accessory. That would have been pretty good back then. They should do that. If you don't know what they did for the Blood Moon Katana, they made it to where it's just a drop from, I think, any raid. And it was only available for a limited amount of time. And you also got a UGC for it. But I think they should just make them, like, divine and extremely rare and extremely strong. And you can drop them from Dimensions, Raid, Time Challenge, Boss Rush. Or just Time Challenge, Boss Rush, and Infinite, I guess. To, to, you know, make people actually play those game modes. That's a good idea right there. They need to let me make ideas for this game. And, you know, th they should. I'd be pretty good at that. Anyways, 14% crit chance. I'll put it in bottom of A tier. Crit chance really just doesn't matter at all. Especially if you have Divine Jet, but Divine Vet. If you do, or if you don't, then it doesn't, or it does matter. It's still not that much, so. What am I talking about? It matters a lot if you don't have Divine Vet. It's so... So weird. I really wish Crit, cham crit Chance still mattered. Because, uh... At, it just weird on how I have to rank these. I have to, like, even that out. Anyways, Deku's other accessory is 10% cool introduction. So, I think these are called Black Wings. They give 17% crit damage. Tailed Beast accessory, it, does, it just does what the Demon Arm does. The Kaido accessory, 20% crit damage. Should I put that above? Yeah, I'll put it above the uh, Deku mask. This one. I forgot what this one does. Let me check. 20% crit damage. But it's way cooler than Kaido's accessory, so... This one does 15% mod damage, which... I actually don't know how to rank that. That shouldn't really be that good. I'm gonna put it top of B tier. Because it's just completely useless against bosses. 
This truth seeking orbs give seven percent attack. I'm gonna put them in B tier. I'm gonna put it under the crit chance accessories just because uh just because these give seven percent crit chance, so I'm gonna put them down there. Same with this crown. The ghoul mask gives eleven percent crit damage, which I think I'm gonna put this above the crit chance, just since it doesn't matter with actually if you're gonna be using these accessories, you don't have divine pet. What am I doing? So it's gonna go under the crit chance accessories. The flaming tiger cub accessory is actually good. It has 10% uh, boss damage, but it's a legendary, so it's not gonna give all five stats. But if you have divine pet, which if you're using the flaming tiger cub, you don't have divine pet, then you only need four stats anyway, so it doesn't matter. But it does. So I think I'm gonna put this one right here. If it had five stats. And it was a mythic. Well, I mean, if it had five, if it was a mythic, I'd put it above the crit damage accessories. So I'd put it up here. Kirito swords. I think they should make another version of Kirito because he could have a cool accessory, and that's the whole reason why. I think another version of Kirito would just also be cool. Even though they did add an awakening for Kirito, they still can just make another version. There's a lot of those. There's a lot of Kirito versions. Anyways, it gives 10% mob damage. Uh, so I'm gonna put that like right there. Or actually, uh, I'll put it right there. Or actually, uh, I'll put it right there. I don't need to rank these. This gives 5% boss damage. So I guess I'll just put that down here. Only because it's an epic. If it wasn't, I'd, I would put it higher. 5% cool introduction for the sword. And then this gives, like, this gives 12% HP. So that's going to go down there. The mini plate of tar armor titan, which is the best accessory in the game. Uh, look, looks wise, not stat wise. Gives 5% XP. These, I don't want to mislead people, so I'm going to put them down here. And this one is better than that one, so. Even though they are the exact same stats, this one, I like this one more. Hmm, these give 23% attack, I think. Which really isn't too bad. I think I'll put that above the cool introduction accessories. Because 23%, I think you could actually reach, like, 100 attack with that. This accessory gives 12% cool introduction. Do I think it's above the 23 attack accessory? I don't know about that one, gang. It's just an extra 2%. Calm down. Dio Wings, we'll put that in S here. They give 20% uh, crit damage. Uh, another crit chance accessory. These wings right here, 11% cooldown reduction. We have the 10%. Pretty sure we also have a 9% cooldown reduction accessory. I don't remember which one it was, though. So we have 9, 10, 11, 12. When's 13 coming out? This also 17% crit damage, but I hate it, so it is going to go under all these. I like it more than this one, though. Maneuver gear. You know, still standing strong. Still standing above three divine accessories. And actually, even more divine accessories, because we haven't even ranked all of them. Maneuver gear is so old, and it's still so good. Then we got Madoka's wings, which these look awesome. I think all divine accessories should get a big buff. Because they are way harder to get than Mythic accessories. So they should be way stronger. And they're only a little bit stronger. Actually weaker than Maneuver Gear. That one should go under those. I think also under the 12% cooldown. Would I put it under the 11%? No. Even though it's just a 1% difference. I just feel... That man, that's actually a hard decision. 20% attack or 12% cooldown action? 12% cooldown action, obviously. Even 11% color action. No, I don't know about that one. That one's a bit of a hot take. Thangan's accessory, 12% attack. So, Obito's balls. Uh, they're also a crit chance accessory. The chains. I completely forgot about these. These do the exact same thing as maneuver gear. But they're not OG. They're not original gangsters. So they are going under maneuver gear. Even though they still do the exact same thing. The crow wings, which is Mihawk accessory. Gives 10% crit chance. Stop releasing those. No one's... E I'm, I haven't seen someone using a 10% crit chance accessory in so long. Sid's accessory does the same thing as Madoka's accessory. I don't think it's cooler though. And before we get to the Guts accessory, I'm gonna go ahead and rank these. Boom, boom, uh, boom, boom, and then there's Mitri's Katana, which is a pretty W accessory. I actually used it for a while. It looks clean. Let me find it. It does the same thing as Ichigo's sword. Lame. I'm going to put it above these. These nuts. And then finally, the Guts accessory. It goes in the best category. Because the Guts accessory does 23% boss damage. A lot of people ask why 
attack or boss damage is a lot better than attack. And some people actually think attack is better than boss damage, which it's not. I don't know the exact math, but I'm pretty sure 15% boss damage is like 13% attack or less or like 12%. I don't know about 11%. Maybe actually 11%. Because maneuver gear is still better than the 20, 23% attack accessory. And maneuver gear only gives like 15%. Uh, wait, what am I doing? I ranked these so wrong. Alright, so, uh, anyways, 23% boss damage is crazy, um, 15% boss damage was the best accessory until the Dio accessory came out, which is only slightly better, it does, a uh, 25% crit damage, I think, let me check, no, 30% crit damage, oh, forgot it did that much, so 30% crit damage is pretty close to 15% boss damage, tough, that's tough, and the guts accessory is 23% boss damage. They were cooking with that one. Cooking, I tell you. This is a prime example of how divine accessories should be made. This is a statement. We need to uh, do something about this. All right.